Hey, we're doing a transmission service on a 2012 Subaru Outback. It's got the 5 speed, the 5 VAT transmission, 4 wheel drive, and the dipstick's over here on the left side of the motor. You can We go. We've got the pan off the first time ever. Factory usually glues these pans on. You can see there are two different types of these five speed or five EATs. They've got the one with the metal pan, uh, metal filter, and this one's got the plastic filter. And unfortunately, uh, you can't buy or very difficult to find new solenoids for these, you've got to buy the whole valve body. And you can see the magnet there, quite contaminated. Okay, just do a quick comparison of the old filter with the new one. Don't forget the o-ring. I like to put them on the end there and as you push it in it'll roll, roll down. So, new filter back in. Just make sure all these little connectors are all okay and they're not going to be rubbing or vibrating on the pan. Off all that elastic off the pan. And as per usual, I like to put that magnet in a position so it can work top and bottom. Okay, pan's all back on, but I've left it loose. Got all the bolts in. Um, the thread on the bolts is very short, so you want to make sure you don't cross thread it or over tighten it. So it's always a good idea to put all the bolts in first. And another reason is because sometimes these gaskets expand with the moisture in the air. It's good to align the holes up properly. Okay, all back together. Stone guards back on. Another thing you can do on these, they've got the uh, the front diff and there should be a little dipstick right up the top there, right against the firewall. So you can check the diff oil level as well while you're doing the service on it. And also do the one that's at the rear. You just check it there. Just make sure it's coming out a little bit. I 
I'll just quickly show you where that, if you can see that yellow dipstick there. A little bit hard to get to, but that's the oil level for the diff, the front diff. Just see on the right hand side of the vehicle, just under this. And we'll be using the TriTac lubricants. And they recommend using the Auto Trans Fluid Full Synthetic Maxi Trans. If you don't have a oil pump, um, it will pass through that filler tube very slowly. So just be patient or you're going to end up getting an airlock there and it'll just come out the top. We're going to put about six litres in to start with and then we'll start it up, go through the gears. We'll need to um, get it close to uh, where the oil level should be with the motor running and then we'll take for a run get it warmed up and check the oil level at operating temperature and hopefully it should be near the top mark. Put in a bit easier is uh, to put a hose right down the end there and you can either put your funnel on the end of that hose there or put your oil pump on the end of it and that way it'll eliminate or reduce the uh, airlock that'll be made in the filler tube. Okay, I've put six litres in and we just take our hose out. And I've got the motor running, I've been through the gears a few times and now we just dip the oil level with the motor running. Straight down. Out. And we're on the bottom, bottom mark there, where my thumb is, should be up here. You can see the little dots there, we've got a hot, hot level, we've got a low, 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 um, cold level mark a high cold level mark and then the same with the hot level mark so we're down here somewhere halfway between the low hot mark and the high hot mark so we'll probably put in a little bit more oil there but like I mentioned earlier it's important not to overfill it anyway hope that's helped Thank you for watching.